Hi, Hi fellow birdies. birdies. My name is Crystal. And this is her husband, Charles. And you're watching another edition of Songbirds Eating Show. Mm -hmm. In today's video, we are actually trying out a local restaurant called Poke World. Hope I said it right. And basically, it's a place where you can order poke bowls, bubble tea, and slushes. And this food was actually provided to us by Mr. Derek Wan for free. So thank you so much. And we were looking forward to trying it out. <laughs> Indeed, we really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. So for mine, I ended up going with sushi rice and spray mix, plain salmon, cucumber, edamame, pineapple, carrots, avocado, eel sauce, and shredded nori. And I also got brown sugar milk tea. And for you, you got the crab meat with brown rice and cucumber, mango, jalapeno, green onion, ginger, wasabi, yum yum sauce, and honey wasabi. And a mango slush to drink. There's a reason you have to read it out. Well, I just hope it's good. <laughs> but anyway, if you haven't done so already, be sure to click that red button down below to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to receive notifications. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ready? Let's dig in. I'm gonna go start with the. Uh, gonna start with the fork. And try mixing it in a little bit. See how that goes. Oh yeah. Is that how you're supposed to eat it? Mmm. I have never had a poke bowl before in my life. That eel sauce goes really well. And fresh and pineapple. <laughs> so anyway, how you been doing? We've been doing pretty good. I don't know. I've had, you know, some issues this week. Yeah, he wants to explain about his glasses. Specifically, I got out of the shower, I went over to them, and for some reason, this leg right here snapped right off. I think it's called leg. I taped it up, but I don't know if you guys can notice it, but yep, unfortunately he's got you know glasses that need to be replaced. He's, it's been like how many years already? About a decade. Oh, wow. Well, guys, I really like this pair of glasses. Mmm. This is pretty good. Mm -hmm. So far, I give this place a thumbs up. Yeah, there was a little bit of a mix up with this. I actually ended up going to the wrong place for this, but you know, they um, everything's good, and they uh, ended up making it there. So my apologies. Indeed, we really appreciated them for doing that, because they basically made it in two different locations for <laughs> us. Cute, that was close. It's like when I had looked up the place, I only saw one location. I didn't see another one. Mm -hmm. so. I like the crab meat because, simple put, I really gotta have crab. I'm gonna try some of my boba tea. You know, I haven't like had it straight from a bubble tea place before, so mm. bear with me. Pure heaven! Like, look at those tapioca pearls. I love them. Can you try a little bit? <laughs> oh, come on. It's not that I dislike, you know, the taste. It's that the last two times I've had boba tea, I end up choking. Mm. So I'd rather not take a third chance. Fair enough. But that's really good boba tea. Like, if I made it at home, I don't think I could make it that good. Slushy is also really good. Mm. Is it slush or a slushy? I should pronounce it slushy, but slush. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Yeah. Told you. Well, it reminds me of the slush at McDonald's. It reminds me of the slush, sort of like at McDonald's. Like um, they have a mango. What was it? Banana or something? Or pango pineapple. 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 Yes. This makes me want to go get some sushi. <laughs> I haven't done a sushi ASMR in forever. Mm -hmm. You can get some sushi for me. And I'll film yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't get any. Don't worry, I'll get you some sushi too. Oh, yeah, I was going to pretend that I was going to do it while you don't get any. Uh, sweetie. <laughs> Mmm. 
Yeah, it was like really sad. Sorry. Yeah, I'd love to join in on it. Yeah, it was like really sad that your favorite place to get sushi just closed. Like that. Yeah, the worst part is I'd spent years waiting for them to reopen. They finally did. I got to go there like two times. And then, boom, pandemic hits. They shut down. It's like due to in part of like they were renovating for a while, I think it was. And, you know, then the pandemic hit and they just didn't really get any business. So, yeah, that was just not the right time. So, I feel way about it that happened. I mean, on the bright side, you know, I'm sure there's plenty of good sushi places in the area mm -hmm. still. I'll mourn that one forever. I'll tell you, like, there's a whole ton of sushi places in Memphis um, that, like, are kind of, like, local and stuff. But, you know, Eat Well seemed to hold a special place in your heart for some reason. Like, what was so special about their sushi? Or, wait, another face there. It wasn't just the sushi. It said all of it was of excellent quality while being buffet style and at a reasonable price. So I got to eat a ton of good food and enjoy every bite of it. <laughs> That's right, because they have the buffet. Like, if you went there, you could actually, you know, get the buffet. Mm -hmm. Plus, they had this, you know, you could get, like, free ice cream. Like, not just regular ice cream, but, like, red bean, green oh. tea flavored. Oh, my gosh. I love green tea flavored. Are you mm -hmm. talking about the mochi ice cream? Oh, straight up ice cream. Okay. I think this place too actually had mochi ice cream. I should have gotten some. I don't think they did. Although I was a part of eating that at some point. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. I like mochi ice cream. It's those little balls. Mm hmm. Mochi ice cream is pretty good, you know, too, I agree. Although I like to get as much ice cream as I can. <laughs> when I'm having it. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I can't quit saying how good it is. Like, if you want to try a... In Memphis, if you want to get a bowl of poke, poke bowl, go here. I think they really appreciate your business. And if we are mispronouncing it, especially like poke bowl, let us know. Yeah. Mm. I'm su definitely sushi rice, like... Oh, I hope it's poke it's, in a bowl. It's sticking together. I hope it is, too. I think it we're pronouncing it right. Yep, not just because of that, but because, well... Pokemon. I always love that series. <laughs> the one thing I regret about not having, like, a game system instead of a computer is that none of the, you know, Pokemon games are on PC. Are you serious? Not that I could find. My goodness. Now, I know someone requested the Poke Bowl a long time ago, but I forgot who it was now because I, for some reason, I lost the list. So, you know, if you requested this, please comment below, and um, I'll add your name to the description box at least. I, I don't know, but whoever requested this, thank you for the request. Mm -hmm. It's really good, I will say that. I just, like... Could not resist the temptation to get salmon. It's like salmon is my absolute favorite seafood. Like I love the buttery taste. It's not that I dislike salmon. I really like salmon. It's that when I get the choice of A, salmon, or B, you know, crab meat, I'm probably going to choose crab. Because crab is more expensive, so you don't get it to get half as often. Mm -hmm. You know, these are actually considered pretty healthy, too. A lot of people uh, who are eating healthy eat these. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I might have like more of like these in the future. Mm-hmm. Did you want to try buying mine? All right. Pick something up. There you go. Like. Oops. <laughs> he dropped. <laughs> Can I try buying yours? Sure. Let's try like. I like yours. I'm sorry. Don't worry. So do I. <laughs> this is so good. I can't say it. Honestly, I think mine was better. 
I think that the you know rice goes really well with the crab meat and the yum yum sauce. Yeah, I was like, I ordered a sushi rice, so mine was kind of like you know sticking together a bit more. I got the idea for this combo from my recipes I found on um, the website for like a salmon poke bowl, and that's kind of what all the ingredients I had in it. Hmm. Not bad, but you know. Yeah, one thing that I used to get you all the time, there's just like, like crab meat and like, you know, a bunch of like seafood with this, you know, sauce. It might have been yum yum sauce actually, because mm-hmm. it tastes a lot like this. Mm-hmm. I give it over rice and I just like you know, rejoice in you know, my taste buds for the next 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. I just hope um, there are some vegetables in this. I just hope my stomach uh, does okay. Not to say that I don't like eating vegetables. Um, it seems like I have a harder time digesting certain ones, mm-hmm. and I have said it several times. But for example, for some reason, if I eat broccoli, it just kind of tends to like really make me feel like sick and you know other things too. But you know, I can eat like leaves and stuff. Um, <clears throat> and Subway sandwiches, of course, of course, Subway doesn't have you know bro- <coughs> excuse me. Of course, Subway doesn't have broccoli in their sandwiches. Probably the best. So, yeah. I people like broccoli. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, it's not bad if it's roasted or with you know, cheese melted on it. But I'm not really a fan of broccoli overall. So I can you know, tolerate Subway sandwiches just fine. There's certain vegetables that you know I try to eat and it just doesn't settle well for my stomach. Maybe I just need to eat them to get used to it more. But, you know, I'll see what I can think of. I can honestly eat this all day. <laughs> but, yeah, like, I need to go back to Kroger and get some sushi. <laughs> now, I hope you wouldn't mind if we were to film this again for the ASMR channel. Mm-hmm. Like, I really enjoyed this. It was delicious. I'd love to have seconds. Big so thumbs to up to Derek Wan and Poke World. Mm-hmm. So thank you so much for well, allowing us to try your food today. Mm-hmm. What did I tell you? This is the stuff. It's hard to get the pearls out there. There's still like a lot of pearls in the bottom. <laughs> My opinion is they're delicious. They're just dangerous to me. I don't like gagging. Like, these are supposed to be, like, boba straws. And it's still not, like, letting me pop me for shake. Allow me to get the boba things out. Got one, but, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I have to do it off camera, probably. No worries. Yeah, I'm gonna go get sushi. I wonder if you like from Benihana's. They got pretty good sushi piece there. We did Benihana's more than this one time. Yeah, that was like months ago. Yeah, like I remember when we last had Benihana sushi, it was in a Carmack one. Mm-hmm. And it was not bad. Indeed, we just don't want to get it from P.F. Chang's again, I think. Hmm? We just don't want to get it from P.F. Chang's again, I think. Mm-mm. It's not always bad. It's a ballpark lot. Yeah, yeah, like, it wasn't really, like, well-made. Like, a lot of people were thinking, oh, she got that sushi from a grocery store. No, that's actually P.F. Chang's. Yep, the grocery store sushi. The grocery actually store actually looks better. Yeah, like, exactly. And I haven't had... Kroger in forever. Like, the last time I actually went to any grocery store besides the farmer's market was, like, two or three months ago, maybe even longer. I haven't been to Walmart in, like, um, six months. I think it's been longer than that. Mm-hmm. Like, we've always or usually order our groceries for, like, food delivery. And, yeah, but they're actually thinking about lifting, excuse me, the mandate for masks here. On April 9th. But I'm still going to be wearing my mask. Like, that's not going to affect me taking mine off. 
Yeah, I agree on that front. Like, it's good that we're having you know, the vaccines for most people, but still, I'm still worried about people, you know, especially with the you know, variants. Mm hmm. So, you know, just continue to be careful out. And I'm going to keep wearing my mask to, you know, protect everyone's safety. Do you like that better than McDonald's? Yes. <clears throat> it's definitely good. Higher quality. <laughs> Diluted by, you know, pineapple. Mm -hmm. So it's basically straight mango. Right. And you can actually get the you can actually get the slushes um with like no sugar, half sugar I think, and real or real sugar, like or regular sugar. I got just regular sugar because you know, why not enjoy just the real thing? Indian, you know me. And all I got in the mine was the tapioca bubbles. I didn't um like add anything else to it. So they do have a lot of toppings. It's like you choose your base, and then you choose your toppings, and then you choose your sauces. And mm -hmm. that's how you build your Poke Bowl. Yep. Base, then you choose the meat, then you choose toppings, then you choose the yeah. Sorry. Hmm. I especially love refreshing cucumbers like... It makes me think back of the days when I was a kid, I used to eat tons of pickles. Like my mom, she would get like a pickle jar and my brother and I would eat like all these pickles. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, she'd get like a big paper towel and we'd eat like the big dill pickles. There was so much vinegar sauce on those pickles, it would make the paper towel. <laughs> Mm -mm. Don't worry, I'll be happy to let you experience your childhood again. By which I mean getting me fruit with some pickles. We got pickles. Pickle party. Don't get me in a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we definitely got a lot coming up pretty soon. Um, I think we're going to probably um, start recording some more videos with cooking part added inside. I, I've done a couple lately, but it's like, for some reason, it slipped my mind and I keep forgetting. Mm -hmm. But I did plan to film one. Today is the twelfth, so I plan to do one today. I'm gonna make pho, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna record that. It's just pretty simple. Put everything in a slow cooker, let it cook for a while, done. So it shouldn't be that hard. Is and it pho or pho? I've been I've been wondering that. Pho. Like F U H pho. Mm -hmm. Not pho, pho. Well, that's what it's better like, because if it did sound like how it's seen it, it did, West Pines how it's spelled, it would make it like sound like pho isn't like fake. <laughs> like, know, would you like to have some pho pho? <laughs> it's like, I didn't know how to pronounce it for the longest time. It's like, right. I always thought it was pho. <laughs> but, you know, there's a lot of things like, um, um, like, I remember a lot of you guys were saying, oh, I still didn't pronounce the Korean rice cake thing right. Well, I'm still working on that. It's, it's, uh, ta I better not try. Taboki. 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 And, and I'm sure we're probably still butchering it, and we're sorry. <clears throat> Let's see it. But yeah, I love this. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Honestly, I think yeah, I got the better, you know, Poke Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> You're such a goofy guy. So here's a question. Since my glasses are currently not so good, would you prefer I filmed it like this or like this? Ooh, look at that charming young man. <laughs> I think you're blind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're cute. And this is why we both need glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on now. My glasses are right here. Do you prefer me without them? Or with? I think you look you know, even cuter with them. But both look really good with them. Yeah. 
Yours are shinier for sure. Like I got like these dark you know, ones. Right, well, the cool right. thing is I got transition lenses, or it's gonna be did have transition lenses. <laughs> Not sure if I want to like pay full price on those. <laughs> But anyway, guys, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and us trying out some delicious Poke Bowls from Poke World. If you're ever in Memphis, I greatly recommend this place. They are located in Germantown, so be sure to give them a visit mm -hmm. and tell them we sent you. Indeed. But anyway, if you haven't done so already, be sure to click that red button down below to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to receive notifications. And then we'll see you guys in the next video. Sounds this good. is Crystal. And Charles. Signing off. Bye, Bye birdies. birdies.